Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Who? Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, what? Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Where? Kingdom Kids, go! Welcome to Kingdom Kids. At Home Edition. I'm your host, Jason Moore. And I'm special guest, Zoe Moore. Before we begin, Zoe, do you have a joke for, for us? Who is the smartest person in the Bible? I don't know, who? Abraham. He knew a lot. <laughs> start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. All right. So today's scripture comes from Genesis 1, chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 27. And so God created human beings in his own image. And in that image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. This famous picture is from Michelangelo, the creation of Adam. It's in uh, the Vatican, Rome, in the Sistine Chapel. Question. Right. So today's Bible lesson is when God made everything. This comes from Genesis 1 and 2. Zoe, uh, would you, I'll read the first page and then you read the second page and we'll go back and forth. Sound good? Okay. All right. Let's begin. Who made us? The Bible, God's word, tells how the human race began. Long ago, God made the very first man and named him Adam. Hi, I'm Adam. God made Adam out of the dust of the earth. When God breathed life into Adam, he came alive. He found himself in a beautiful garden called Eden. Before God made Adam, he made a beautiful world filled with wonderful things. Step by step, God made hilly places and prairie, sp and prairie spaces, fragrant flowers and tall trees, brightly fretted birds and buzzing bees wallowing whales, and slippery snails. In fact, God made everything there is. Everything. Wow. In the very beginning, before God made anything, there was nothing except How God. How boring. Nobody. No people, no places or things. Nothing. No light and no darkness. No up and no down. No yesterday and no tomorrow. There was only God who had no beginning. Then God acted. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was on the face of the deep. Then God spoke, Let there be light. And there was light. God called the light day, and the darkness night. He called night. In the evening, in the evening and the morning, there were the first day. Okay. On the second day, God brought the waters of the oceans, the seas, and lakes into order under heaven. On the third day, God said, let the dry land appear. Yay. And it happened. Yay, now we <laughs> want to drown. God also commanded the grass and flowers and shrubs and trees to appear. And they appeared in the evening, the morning, or the third day. Okay. Then God made the sun and the moon and so many stars that nobody can count them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. wait, what? All right. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Sea creatures and fish and birds went next on God's list. On the fifth day, he made a big swordfish and tiny sardines, long-legged ostriches, and happy little hummingbirds. God made every kind of fish to fill the earth's water. And every kind of bird to enjoy the land, sea, and sky. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. All right. After that, God spoke again. He said, let the earth bring forth living creatures. Every kind of animal and insect and reptile came into being. And there were earth-shaking elephants and busy beavers, mischievous monkeys and clumsy crocodiles, wiggly worms 
and cheeky chipmunks, gangly giraffes, and purring pussycats. Every kind of animal was made by God that day. And the, and the evening and the morning were the sixth day. All right. God did something else on the sixth day, something very special. Everything was now ready for man. There was food in the fields and animals to serve him. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let him be Lord over everything on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. God spoke to Adam, eat what you wish from the garden, but do not eat from the tree. The knowledge of good and evil. If you eat from the tree, from that tree, you will surely die. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper for him. God brought all the birds and beasts to Adam. He na Adam named them all. He must have been very clever to do so. But among all the birds and beasts, there was no suitable partner for Adam. God brought Adam into a deep, deep sleep. Removing one of the man's ribs, God formed a woman from Adam's rib. The woman, the woman God made was exactly the right, right to be partner for Adam. Yay. God made everything in six days. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it a day of rest. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, his wife, had perfect happiness obeying God. God was their Lord, their provider, and their friend. The end. end. All right, this is the time where we'll remind everyone for the week of the offering. Please ask your parents or guardians to include your offering with theirs via snail mail or give a fly. Uh, there's the address there for uh, Shiloh Baptist Church in Hartford and for the Give a Fly app. Please donate and or please a, make an offering. And there's a All right. Go ahead. So you can uh, sing this, please. Together. together. Okay. All, All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thy own. For the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 2 Corinthians 3 13 14. 14. Very 13, good. 14. <laughs> yeah. Kingdom kids, kingdom kids, Who? kingdom kids, kingdom kids, what? kingdom kids, kingdom kids, Where? kingdom kids. Go! Virtual biblical video lessons. Shiloh Baptist, Youthful Sessions, yeah. Hartford, Connecticut, 350, Albany Ave, Fellowship Scripture on the Righteous Path. Amen. The wise of the worlds need further discussion. Heard that. Old and New Testaments orchestrated divine percussion. Yeah. Spiritual education of the mind, body, and soul. Okay. Welcome to Kingdom Kids, students. Let's go. Yay. Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Who? Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids, Kingdom Kids. What? Yeah. Goodbye, see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Amen.